back to another episode of City Skylines. So today what I wanted to work on was that industry area over here. Um, we have a district already set up even though that you can't really see the name because the game is buggy but you know it is what it is. Um, it's called Autumn Square. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much what we call it. Uh, we're going to be putting a um, industry here. So uh, if we go to the resources you can see there's a lot of ore here, so I think we're what we're going to do is we're going to put a our own industry on this thing, and if possible, um, just trying to look around and see what options we have here. Uh, if possible, then maybe have something localized in this area. Might have to clean up some of this stuff, but. Uh, for buildings that don't really need to be there for processing. So things like uh, extraction can go here because that's all that work and stuff. And then we can have like uh, manufacturing or something over here, possibly. We have all this area right in here that we can use. So, uh, and they'll be going through this exit anyways because we're gonna be putting a highway that kind of goes like that, so. I think that would be the best alternative and that means that they can also use this exit to get back onto the highway which will go like that and they'll be able to join the highway for export if they decide so at least that's the idea that I have I'm not sure if it's gonna be a perfect idea but we'll see if we can't set something up all right so first things first we're gonna need a road uh, to get over there I'm thinking Probably a double road is needed. Uh, we'll do an... I think this is his industry road, double road. And we'll see if we can't get... I don't know if we can go under that bridge. I don't think we can. So we're probably going to have to go... Kind of like this. And then dip down. And hopefully... We'll be able to... Get... Yeah, we'll, we'll just barely be able to get over here. Okay, so then we'll have to kind of go up. And there we go. We got an entrance. It's not that bad of a location either. So uh, we'll see if we can't just go directly like that. So we divide it in half. And that should give us a good starting point at least. And after we've mined out all the ore and stuff, I think what we'll do is we'll put like a, um...
or farming industry and I'm going yeah that looks pretty um not really good quality food there's a lot of um dead or dying trees around here and grass is turning white and we're just like yeah I don't know if I would eat that from that section there this section is doing pretty good we'll probably put our farming industry here because there's a big chunk of uh land there we don't want to give that up because there's not many other locations to do it we could stick something in there if we could but it's not a huge area like this for a farming thing so yeah I don't want to give that up that section up for sure because the only other locations by the looks of it is way out in the distance there so I mean not even if we expand this direction too much we're not going to get it too much from it so um, yeah, just something to keep in mind when we're developing this area, and that's kind of why I've been leaving it open, uh, for development for our industry, because then we can do something with it at least and make a little bit more profit. But, um, the other thing, this is operational, we're digging some stuff out, uh, some ore, we got a little bit of ore going in there, and then it gets towed over to this area which we've got a little bit of ore and uh, they're just stocking up metals over from here which the ore goes to here our grinding mill and then it goes into our um, small warehouse which is basically where we store the metal so that's at least the general consensus of the setup our main buildings over here so it gets all that garbage and stuff that we need for it so and i've kind of broken up this up into two sections so we have our industry over here and our other mining facility area over here so you can see how it kind of highlights both of them uh very similar to how you do the industry or areas like this so it's basically what i've done and you just basically draw a line over to where you want it Hopefully you don't go through something that's already established, so you might have to go around it. And then you just cut off that line, you sever it, and then you'll basically have two districts of the same type. <laughs> Which is pretty cool, because then you don't need to worry about the logistics and stuff. If this one levels up, so will the other one. Alright, so this area over here, I wanted to get something set up uh, here. There's a little bit of farming. Which is nice. There's an exit and entrance over on this side as well. So I think...
My next plan is to set up a uh, leisure center over in this area. Now leisure is pretty noisy for the most part, so I wanted to keep it away from the um, residential area. We'll probably keep this little section leisure and then we'll have some commercial or something on these sides just to separate it a little bit more. And there is a nice little lake there too, so we might be able to do something with that. But uh, in the meantime, actually, you know what? We haven't checked on the pollution for a while. It looks like it might have moved. I just got that idea. So let's go to the oh um, pollution tab. How is that pollution doing? Well, it's actually resided. It doesn't look like it's there anymore. So we should have um, that fishing area good to go now. So that's good. I'm uh, not sure what... That's kind of a little bit brown. I'm not sure why is it, it's brown over there. That indicates that there's pollution. But... You know, for the po most part, it looks pretty good. Um, oh, maybe it's not pollution. Maybe it's just... Um, oh, maybe it is pollution. I don't know. What is this? What are all these... Brown dots, what does that mean? It looks like it's a little bit polluted, but it, I don't know if it is or not. It might just be the color that they gave it. Because the water doesn't look polluted, but the, the arrows do. Weird. Okay, so, um, yeah. I think we can start focusing on the fishing industry after we build the leisure one. Uh, district so I want to make sure that people can get here easily I have a subway system over here we can connect it up to here as well it goes directly under so if we go to the transportation tab you can kind of see it kind of wraps around like this so we can easily put a um, what do you call it a transportation thing right in here we might even be able to put a hub or something as well so we'll see if we can't do that uh, I'm not sure how much a hub would take. Just need a train thing. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, let's go to the tab here. We'll, we'll find it eventually. So this is underground metro station. There's two lines here, so we'll be able to branch off of this easily. And I figure... Keeping it close to that part will probably be good, so they can hop onto the tram if they need to. So we'll build that right there. And...
and we got a lot of stuff done today. We got the ore industry up and running. We got all that ore claimed to ourselves, so we can go ahead and mine all that if we take a quick look. Uh, there's just a little bit that they've mined, or maybe that's just the name. I think they just have that over on the name. Usually it turns white though. Yeah, it kind of rotates with the name. So all that ore is still available underneath. It's doing great. So we'll have all that for production. We got a, pretty much a full ore storage thing here. And we got, I placed down another one of those um, ore grinding mills just so we have the job capacity. I'm pretty sure we have the job capacity. Let's just take a quick look. Uh, jobs, workers, 185, we only require 150, so yeah, now we have the capacity. Uh, farming industry over here is not doing too good. Uh, a lot of buildings keep going unabandoned, and that's due to lack of uh, residents to work there. Uh, we'll be fixing that probably next episode. My next plan is to expand this way, so we have the port area and stuff like that. We'll probably put a port or something in there. We'll see what we can do with that. And we'll bring the highway kind of that way, I think. And I think that might work. Yeah, because I want to connect it up to that point. Just so those notifications keep going away. <laughs> but our leisure and um, IT building industry area is doing great. So I placed a whole bunch of parks down and stuff like that. So there's a few of them mixed in here. We have the um, underground metro station that goes between two stations. One goes this direction to the tourism industry. The other one goes to um, that side. And then we also got the tram system for people to get off. There's actually quite a bit of people using it, which is great. People go over to here from the subway, subway to whatever station they need to. Uh, that's not exactly full, but it's still a pretty good amount of people. And they're coming from all over the city, so there's very few traffic issues. I did upgrade some of the roads around here, but... Outside of that, it's been running pretty smoothly. I'm pretty impressed with how it's turning out. None of the intersections that I could see are too busy. Um, not to the extent that would need upgrading, at least. It's not, like, backed up or anything. So, we're doing pretty good for traffic. Outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.